Welcome to some adventures of food, and I'm back again with another food review. What those? What's up? First of all, happy New Year! Hey. Happy New Year! We're back. It's a new year. Same bato, same channel, same chingaderas. But to the new subscribers, thank you and welcome to our channel. And don't forget to subscribe. Hit the subscribe button right now. Everybody hit the subscribe button right now. Not only that, hit the thumbs up. The bell's like this, eh? Because a lot of people forget to hit the thumbs up. Thumbs up helps out the channel, vato. So please, right now, take the time. Hit the thumbs up, vatos. Come on. How about a vato to proceed in life, eh? Proceed. I don't even know if that's the correct term. But anyways, today, what do we have? Today, we got the new Jack in the Box Smash Burger. You're like, what's a Smash Burger? It's a burger that they hired my tia to sit on the fucking meat so they can be all plastados, all flat and shit. Nah, just playing about those. It's a, it's a piece of meat that they smash in. Whatever the case is, it's a different technique to make the burger. Supposedly, about those. But anyways, Jack in the Box came out with it. Smash burgers are not new. They're been, they've been out for years now, about those. But now, Jack in the Box said, hey, we want to join this shit. So they made it. So I said, I'm going to try it, about those. So I went, got me a double smash burger. And here it is. They made this shit look pretty, homie. Look at that shit. It's actually intact. I'm surprised. Yeah, for a minute, I thought they gave me the cutout from the fucking picture of the poster. Because it looks too good to be true, eh? So, what the burger consists of is obviously your meat. It has cheese. It has grilled onions. And it has pickles. And boss sauce. Boss sauce, vato. Because, you know, Jack thinks he's a boss, vato. Because he got, you know... Not so long ago, he had Snoop Dogg on there, so check it out. I don't see no pickles, that's it. No, man, if it's not one shit, there's another. They forgot my fucking pickles, homie. They really did, unless it's under all this fucking boss sauce, but let's see. Hold up. Let me dig about those, but yeah, Jack in the Box, you forgot the fucking pickles, homie. There's always some chingadera, and I already know the why it's going to be. You should have checked your order before you left. Well, what am I going to do? Open the burger in front of him too now? Fuck. No pickles. And you guys know I love pickles. So already Jack in the Box, you're down one, homie. You ruined the burger by not putting no pickles in this shit because that's how it is. But I'm hungry about those, so I'm not going to sit here and wait and wait and wait. So here we go. Let's try Jack in the Box double smash burger. To be honest about those, there's nothing smashed about this burger. It's their same meats they have. It's not smashed, they eh? Try the box. You don't gotta lie to kick it, homies. You guys don't gotta lie to kick it. The burger's good. I'm not gonna say it's not, but it's not a smashed burger. The smash burger, their texture of their other meat is more flat, like my bolitas chichis, you know, like flat, eh? It's not really like cushiony, spongy, you know? This thing is like, like wait, I almost dropped the soda about them. Fucking, I would have got my ass kicked. Ay, wait. That way would have been, you throw the soda on the car, fool. I know. But, anyways, the texture of a smash burger is different. And this, this is a regular burger. Maybe they they smashed a regular meat, threw it in the buns. For those of you that work at Jack in the Box and know what they do with these burgers, hey, comment on the, comment below about those because I think that's what it is. You know, they just try to sm shape it like a smash burger, but this is a the regular patties from whatever burgers they have about those. I can't really taste the boss sauce on it, but it's a good burger, Vatos. Especially when you're hungry, but it's not a bad burger, but it's not a smash burger. Got some french fries, but what really disappointed me is the pickles. It's supposed to have fucking pickles. Pickles takes a burger to another level, at least in my opinion, Vatos. Because you guys will be like, oh, I hate pickles. That's good, Vatos. You, you... And life can hate whatever you guys want. Nobody can tell you what. You know? But me, a burger with pickles is a shit. I don't know how they failed 
to forget my pickles. They must not know how to create this burger because they forgot the pickles, vatos. And it's, it's a very well-constructed burger. Look, it's not dripping. It's not falling apart. It's all there, but they forgot. Once again, the fucking pickles, eh? And that's a nice, juicy burger. It's not dry. It's good. But they didn't put the full ingredients. And the the grilled onions goes well with it, those because it's like it's not overpowering. It goes with it. One thing I am gonna start putting on it. I don't know if you guys ever tried this, Vatos. And I ordered this the other day. The Jack Spicy Good Good Sauce. Mm -hmm. Jack. Vato. You're getting me a weird vibe now, homie. Why couldn't you just name it Spice Jack Spicy Good Sauce? He had to say the Good Good Sauce. Come on, Vato. Jack, I know where you're going, homie. Pinche, eh, Jack tiene una pinche novia morena, you know? He say, hey, name that shit, the Jack's Good Good Spice, eh? But anyways, if you guys haven't tried this, try it, vatos. This shit is bomb. It almost tastes like tapatio and ranch or what the case is, but it's bomb. I had it the other day for lunch. And it's bomb. They have a regular one that's not spicy, and then they have a spicy one. Obviously, I like the spicy one. Never tried it with the fries, but let's try it with the fries. It's good. It's a good sauce. It's a spicy sauce. I don't know if it's tapatio, cholula, what the case is in there, but it's good. Um, I know you're about to like, damn, where you been, homie? I've been in life, bato. No. I know you, bato, are kind of like, hey! He's a fucking helpful Honda guy. Nah, I don't work for the helpful fucking Honda guy, Vatos. Relax, see? Eh? You guys are clowning on me like, hey, the fucking Vatos over there granting wishes like a Make-A-Wish Foundation and shit. I wish, homie. I fucking wish. Because it's good to help out people, Vatos, but I don't have that power to do this shit, you know? You know, there's a lot of people out here that, that grant wishes and they help people out, but I'm not on that level, Vatos. I'm, I'm just fucking normal. I'm corriente. You know, I'm cheap. Not cheap, but I'm poor, I say, you know? I don't have that power to go around and say, here, you got this. Here, I'm going to buy out your 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 whole stand, Mato. Fuck, I wish I could do that, homie. But we're here. The wife said, don't say you're back, fool. And she has a point. I'm not back. I've been here. I've never left. Because I do post a lot of YouTube shorts about those and I'm getting a lot of buzz from it. And I appreciate everybody subscribing off the YouTube shorts. And I like it. I like just getting my phone, recording shit everywhere I go. And creating a 60 second content map, you know? So, thank you guys for staying with the channel. But I know a lot of you guys like this full review. So, I gotta keep on bringing you guys the full reviews. All my shit talking. Damn, that's, that sauce gets pretty spicy, Vatos. Just kicked in right a little. But yeah. We're here. We're again. Bringing you guys food for a new year. More chingaderas for Jack in the Box. But. I hope everybody is well and healthy, homie. And everybody's with their families, eh? You know? Because that's what life is about. It's family, homie. Friends? Eh. Not so much. You gotta keep your circle small, homie, with friends. Because nowadays these vatos, oh, they flip like, they flip like chanclas, homie. You know? So you gotta be careful who your friends are, vatos, you know? You only got some solid ass vatos out there that are right with you. And some fools that well, straight up fucking right on you, Vato. You know, like, no, he did it. Or, you gotta be careful who's who, Vatos. You know, because not all people are built the same, man. Eh? But, anyways, the ranting is starting, Vato. Like, hey, the motor started, eh? Well, yeah, eh? The other day, I was, uh, the Honda dealer, Vatos. 
getting the oil change on this. I'm flat right here. The wife was with me. We're chilling, we're waiting. <laughs> and then, fuck, a big puppy walks in through the door. I said, the vato was like, ready to buy a ramfla. I'm not hating vatos. Let me get to the story. He walks in, some Cortez, some big ass 50 size fucking Frisco bands on me, his fucking white shirt, eh? And his cholo look, and he just had a fucking face like, like he woke out of fucking bed and didn't eat his fucking Cheerios like this. Walks into the dealer and chingas them out, eh? They're gonna rob us, eh? But I didn't get scared because he didn't have a mask on, so it wasn't those vatos on the smash and grab, eh? You know? It wasn't them vatos. So like, Alright, we, we're cool, we're cool. And those vatos gonna rob us, at least he's gonna tell us, hey, give me your, you gonna put a gun and he's gonna give us a warning. Not like those other fools, eh? We're smashing grab, we're the motherfuckers don't get away. They just come out, eh, with fucking hammers, fucking bananas, or what the fuck they use to fucking, or frozen bananas so they can break the cases, eh? But, uh, to fucking rob, eh? Fucking crazy ass shit, vatos. But, um, that fool walks in there and he asks for a sales vato, eh? Oh, he'll be there right now. And he's just standing right there all fucking chingon. I was like, yeah, I don't know what's going to happen. Eh? You know, maybe he sold a car to his daughter and it don't work. He's going to fuck him up right now, eh? You know? He's going to check this out, though. But nah, that fool comes down, shakes his head, and they sat down. That fool was buying a new Ramfla. Congratulations, Mato. Congratulations, because it's been me to see a homie move up in life. But sometimes when you move up in life, Mato, you got to change your wardrobe, homie, because... You can't be cruising on a brand new Ramfla, all tumbado, you know, all fucking, you know, gangstered out. Sometimes that's it, homie. Sometimes you gotta move on, but in life, get with the new shit. You could dress nice, homie, and still be hardcore, fool. You know, you just put on your your, your ugly face like that, eh? But sometimes you gotta move on, homie. You know, it's like. Everybody like Boulevard Nights, homie, but don't be stuck in that era no more, you know? This is where it should be New Year, no me. No, New Year, new fucking ropa, new clothes, homie. But, you get people that get stuck in that era, ain't no changing them. Ain't no changing them, because that's what they grew up and they like. I went through that shit, but now I look at it like, chinga so much, what the fuck was I thinking, eh? You know, but now fucking, I just don't know what though, you know, I don't need to dress like that to make you hardcore, eh? Because what's gonna, what's gonna happen, Vato? Is your pants really gonna fly off and hit somebody? And like, it, the clothes does nothing for you, homie, but make it look like a clown, eh? And then a lot of fools gonna be like, fool, and wear big band because you put cuetas in there. I know, homie. I know there. Been there, done that, homie. You put a fucking 12 gauge down your pan because you got big old pants. You can fucking put a fucking grenade in your fucking pocket because your pants are so fucking big, vatos. You know? You could do whatever you want with those big pants, eh? You know? Whatever you want to do, you could do. I'm right here in a, a new location filming, vatos, so I got to stay vigilant because I don't know this damn area, you know? But anyways, I know people are going to start defending these vatos because they have... Big old pantalones, big old shit, but it is what it is, homie. Anyways, how the fuck did I get on the subject, okay? And then, and then, here I go. Then you get people that don't know, no, they don't know nothing about that life, and they want to dress that way, eh? You know? And, and this goes both ways. They flip flops both ways. Females and males, vatos, you know? And I laugh. Like, stop watching Boulevard Nights, Mi Vida Loca, and you know, it's like, Blood in and blood out, eh? You know, it's like, come on, vatos. You know? We watch these movies when they try to be gangster. Don't do it, vato. Don't do it. Watch the movie. Give them their fucking props. Well, nowadays they say give them their flowers, mas puto. What's up with this shit? I hear this shit on the radio a lot. Oh, we gotta give him his flowers. His flowers? Like, oh, fuck. Just give him his props, homie. Congratulations, eh? It's a vato here, eh? Wearing a jersey, see? We're talking about dressing like a cholo. Not wearing a jersey don't don't make you a cholo, but the way you dress with it is different. I don't know. I'm making sure he's not pulling out a quet out of the trunk, eh? But, yeah, vato. Give him his props. 
Que flowers que la chinga. That's it, but don't copy what you see in the movies, homie. You know? If people watch these movies and they want to address gangster, gangster this, gangster there, like, oh, okay. You're not gangster, homies. One person that I can define as a gangster, you guys probably won't even agree with me, eh? It's Ricky Martin, fool. Bruh. You're like, what the fuck? Ricky Martin even made the song Living the Vida Loca. He wasn't fucking joking, homie. He wasn't joking because this vato, he was living the vida loca, the crazy life, homie. So, and I hear, he even came out on a new Cholo movie. You guys probably don't even know about it. Eh? It's called Butt In, Butt Out, eh? You know? And it had fucking characters. El Gallo Negro, you know? And not only that, they had a book called Chiclo. And you're like, Chiclo? I thought it was Miklo. This is a reboot. It's Chiclo. El Chicloso, fool, you know? But anyways, about those... Look it up, Google it, eh? You guys are like, nah, I want to watch this shit, eh? But in, but out, eh? You live the vida loca, right, homies? But anyways, I ate my smash burger. It was good. It's a good burger. Nothing crazy. This reminds me of the old Ultimate Cheeseburger. There you go, Vatos. That's what I named it. The old Ultimate Cheeseburger because the new one sucks. The new one's small. The meats are thinner. This probably, that's what it reminds me of. Is the old Ultimate Cheeseburger. Just because it has grilled onions that you can barely taste. Because maybe they're not even real onions, Vatos. Because they they're not that flavorful. But you guys know the drill. No, I'm not leaving yet, Vatos. You're like, oh, fuck. He's letting it know. You know the drill when you go to Jack in the Box? You can't forget the tacos, homie. If you go to Jack in the Box and forget the tacos, oh, wait, me estoy desinflando, desinflating, homie. And I gotta do translations for you fools because you guys be like, what's this in Flando? You know? And then you fucking go Google it, flan, and then it's on the dessert, flan. Why the fuck is he a flan? No, desinflando, homie. Like, come on, vato. But anyways, let's jump into the tacos and to more storytelling. You know, well, I got into the whole New Year Cholo shit, you know? But I, I just wanted to bring that out, eh? Oh, nothing. You guys know I drive around all day long. Nothing. I forgot to ask for hot sauce, but I fucked up. But we we'll eat it like that. It's all good. I see a lot of things when I'm driving. And the other day, I was I was hungry, but I was hungry. I left work. I had to go somewhere. I, I can't mention what the heck, but. We had a little situation going on. So I was like, before I get to the place, I got to eat because I'm be there for a long time. And what are the cases? So I went to McDonald's on me. You're like, fuck, you're talking about McDonald's getting Jack in the Box? Well, yeah, fool, they don't pay me. I can talk whatever I want. This is our channel, Vato. You know? Now, if Jack was giving me a, a check, I wouldn't mention McDonald's, Vato, but it is what it is. I'm driving to McDonald's, and before I get to my drive through I was a young kid, probably about 18 years old, walking with the Ruka, eh, and the Vato. They were Chinese, eh? Sorry. And I'm going to tell you something. Don't take offense to shit I talk about here, because it's just to have fun. It's comedy, Vato. You know, don't take it to the heart. Don't take it to the culo, eh? Let's, let's get that straight. It's not about being racist. It's not about none of that shit, homie. Cause I talk shit about my people too, about those so relax on me, relax and say homie. But um, yeah, I was a Chinese little boy. I call a little boy because he's 18 years old, homie. I fuck it all as dark and be his daddy food, but no, no, thank you, homie. But um, anyways, he's walking with this girl and he just took her to fucking McDonald's and he's trying to touch her and he's not even hugging her, he's like air hugging her, like daddy, like I'm cool, wait, look at me, you know, fucking Pokemon. But um, the thing that caught my attention is Haina. I don't know what she had in her hand. It looked like a little milk or... I don't know. I think that about the bother a fucking Happy Meal, eh? Like she had the burger and the leche and everything. She's walking. But she's walking like this, eh? And I'm like, God damn, what the fuck did she... I, to me, I figured about the bother a Happy Meal. But the way she's fucking walking, it looked like she ain't a fucking... I can't fucking see meal, eh? I'm like, hey, open your eyes. You're going to fucking walk into me, eh? Like, 
No chingues. I was like, damn. I said, That's fucked up, man. Eh? Was all happy. She was like that. She was happy to it, but like, she couldn't see it. Like, and they put something in that milk or that burger. Eh? It's, maybe it's a new one. It's not the happy meal. Like, I can't see shit meal, eh? I don't know about those, but <laughs> I want to bring that shit to your attention. The way goes, why do you always got to talk shit about everything you see? It's not talking shit. It's expressing your opinion, vato. But. These tacos are bomb, man. Really, really good. Tacos. A little decent burger. But before I continue the ball rolling, I want to get a shout out to my homie, Jeffrey Joseph. Hey, Vato. Feel better sooner, homie. I know you're doing good, but keep keep your head up, Vato, you know, and and keep on pushing, homie. Get better, Vato. I know, I know it's hard. I don't want to say nothing, Vato. Just, just get well soon, Vato, you know? And um, that's the homie. Jeffrey Joseph, he's been on one of my videos. He introduced me to one of the spots in, in Pasadena that I wanna go back again with you, Vato, and do a part two video. So I know you're watching this. Let me know when, Vato, and let's set it up and we'll do another video there, you know? So I just wanted to give the homie a shout out eh, because he's a good camarada, eh? You know, let's get this shit straight, eh? Wow, the tacos are bad, I mean. I don't know if they're carne asada, tripas, pastor, suadero. I don't know what the fuck there's in here, but it's probably fucking kangaroo, but they're good, eh? So, yeah, that was... This year, we got to keep it pushing. Bring your reviews. And... Knock some doors down, Mato, you know? Knock some doors down. And make some noise in this fucking business and shit, you know? But, um, I think now our lives lately, last year was fucking crazy, like a roller coaster. But I think right now we're piecing the, the puzzle. The puzzle? What the fuck is a puzzle, eh? The puzzle, Mato! Stop acting like your tia that can't say, hey, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> um, that's how you know Vato, I'm Mexican, fool, see? I make fun of our own race, too, see? So Vatos don't get all buttered, eh? Um, we're getting everything together. Just trying to roll not smoothly because life is not smooth, Vato. Life always has ups and downs and shit. But that's life, homie. You know, it just makes you stronger. We don't know why the fuck we got to go through these downs. We'd rather go than the ups, eh? You know, to prendido and shit, but it is what it is, homie. But I think we should be able to... Get the shit rolling, that's what I'm trying to say. Get videos back up, whether it's one a week, fucking one's better than nothing. Cause no vato has one a week, that's four videos a month. Plus YouTube shorts. But my goal is at least two per week. That's my goal, homies. Two per week. That gives you what? Eight videos? Two, let me see, two, four, six, eight. Eight vato, eight videos per month. So YouTube shorts, fucking go live. And it'll be beautiful. You know, our numbers sh should go up. Whatever the case is, whatnot. And my number is Vatos? I'm laugh, homie. I'm gonna laugh. We work hard for our subscribers. I notice a lot of people on YouTube now are buying their fucking subscribers, Vatos. I, I scandalous, homie. Don't do that shit, eh? Don't fake the funk that you're something you're not, homie. You Vatos go up like 10,000 subscribers overnight. No chinga, homie. And they get us. Who, dog? But it is what it is. You gotta work hard. To get shit, homie. The other way is like you're a drug dealer, vato. You're gonna get caught, homie. And when you get caught, you ain't gonna like it. You're gonna be all alone and nobody's gonna like you, homie. Cause that's, that's how it works, fool. So just do it the correct way. Fly straight, homie. You know? But, anyways, vatos, I'm gonna end this video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Once again, Happy New Year, vatos. And let's keep it rolling. Let's keep this carreta rolling, homie. Keep this grocery cart fucking rolling on all wheels and let's roll, homies. Before we go, hit the like button, comment below, share the channel, and subscribe, vatos. And don't forget, if you guys see us out in the streets and the guy say, what's up, homie? Nine or ten times, maybe I got 
an air freshener, stickers in my pocket, a cuete. Nah, cuete. <laughs> like, chinga so mal. And I'll, I'll gift you guys with this shit, homie, you know? I, if I had fucking a million dollars, I'll give you 20 bucks every time somebody say, what's up, fool? But I don't have that type of feria, homie. I'm not rich, homie. But anyways, you guys see us out there? Say, what's up, dog? You know? It's all good. And if you do, comment below and say, hey, fool. Remember, I'm the one that seen you, this and that, but nobody does that shit, eh? But it's all good about this. all love, anyways. It's all good for you guys. So, I'm going to end it here. Go back to the lab and see what we have for you guys next. And we'll try to bring the wife. She's on the holiday right now, eh? We'll bring the wife on the reviews, you know? It's like we do, we fight. And that's not a fucking, it's not a script, about the, that's life. We fight all along. If you don't believe me, I'll ask my stepkids. I know I'll be like, chinga su madre, about those. But I'll leave it at that because I'm already opening another fucking can of worms. But anyways, this is all I have for you guys. So until the next review, you vatos have a wonderful day.